What is good? This is Miss Place here, and I'm back with my first review of a product I bought. And guess what? I'm sitting in it. And here it is. The Mavix chair. Now, my apologies if I'm not pronouncing it right ahead of time. I will tell you I am not sponsor, partner, or, or any type of affiliate, and I did not get bought this I'm doing this video is because I buy you know products that are geared towards gamers and I have to have my own opinion to it because you know everybody just sure posts things and I'm actually tired of it like the economy we all not rich and hey I'm falling on the budget so I will say the chair I got is the one that is more on the you can purchase it in compared to I wish I could purchase it in. So my opinion and my thoughts on this chair are based off on the one I purchased. I cannot speak for all the other chairs that are in their line and if, if or what improvements they made since this chair. Now, the type of chair will be in the link in the description below. So check that out when you have time. Now let's get started on this chair. I'm going to give you my what I like about this chair, what I don't like, and what I think they can improve on. And also the extra products I bought to either that I think were worth or not worth buying to add on to this product. Now, what I like about this chair, I will say it wasn't hard to put together. I didn't struggle with it as much as I thought I would. Um, the instructions were fairly decent. Some of them could have been better, but I, I really like didn't struggle as much as I thought I would putting this chair together. I really thought I was gonna struggle. So I did like that. Now also, what I like about the chair itself is I like when I did get it together and I sat down, I didn't feel squished or suffocated in it. Now that just be, I'm not small by no means, and I know I have hips, but for me, I actually could sit in it and not feel like I shouldn't have put the arms in there. Like, I fit without needing assistance to get out. I also like that the back support, I haven't really had no back support issues. I don't lean like gangstering my chair back because most times I'm either sitting up straight or like sitting about this far. So adjusting it to my length, it, it worked for me. And also I like the rollers that they're for me and where I'm at, it's smooth for me to go from here to my little work area. So I, I really like that. And the more the most like parts that I liked about the chair itself, the chair itself. Now, what I didn't like about the chair and the reason why I'm saying this is because, look, I'm not trying to bash a company before I tell you what I didn't like about the chair. I just want chairs to do better. Like, it's a lucrative industry, and it's also a competing industry. And I just want companies or any companies in general. If you got something good, don't slack off on it good and don't get complacent that it's in a... Uh, a community because you're not the only one yes you might have certain brands some certain name people but at the same time you always are trying to grab another person or another you know person to buy your stuff and continue to buy your stuff so there's always ways to improve it so what I didn't like about this chair and this is probably my major issue with the chair is the tushy area the tushy the the comfort the money maker the the you can sit in this chair forever that's that's my major issue and that's and this is not with like i haven't had this with other chairs because i have and i've done the same thing i'm about to tell you i've done it with the two previous chairs i had and if you want to know which ones there were you know just message me or I probably, you know, respond to it. Just message. But I've 
literally had to put either a pillow or a blanket and the tushy part of the chair to make it comfortable like for longer sitting time frames so and i'll show you right now like i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna show you i got a blanket i mean you won't literally be able to see it but i'm gonna lift up my blanket to show you that literally that's literally what i sit on right now for this chair is a blanket so here you go my little blanket i put in this chair like just to keep it comfortable for me now that's a good suggestion for other people and no matter the chair not just this chair but any chair that you got that it's not it has certain qualities that you like but the comfortability is not always there find something comfortable especially if you got hips or if you got you know body below hips and all that issues and it's more sensitive find something that can comfort make it comfortable in that area so I would suggest, I know, and before you say, oh, well, buy the next one, or buy the next type, no, no, we shouldn't always have to spend for the next type, because it's nothing that bad about what you have right now, just improve on it, so the sitting is what I need to improve on, so, now my idea when it comes to that is, I think that a cushy pad, tissue pad to be made to fit all your products in the future. Now that's my idea. And to make sure you go through the right fabric company, the right um, stuffing, like all of that. Don't don't just get like cheap stuff or anything. And it can even be a design tissue pad. And like I'm calling it a tissue pad because I don't got no other word for it right now. But that little added thing, that little product could change the whole world of difference for chairs, like just in general. Now, I don't know if there's like any copyrights or something or but that, I know there's probably more to it, but creating your own type and then fitting it with your chair, this would be a good idea. If you need help with it, let me know. Like, just hit me up. I don't bite. Um, everybody knows my messages are open on Twitter, so... Hey, now things that I bought with to for added things to make this chair worthwhile that caught my attention. I bought the cooling and heating massaging thing that fits right in the back, the pad that fits right at the lumbar support that is easy to put in place and it can go with any chair. Now that I will say yes, that was one thing I didn't mind grabbing, and it's like it works in 15 minute increments, so you don't have to have it on all day. It will need to be charged, but that's all in a whole different, there's videos and other links to that. There, you just go to their site for that. Now, the second thing I bought, and I can't show you the padding thing because I already got it in place, but the other thing I can show you that made this show worthwhile, and I did leave the comments about this, is the actual footrest. Now I'm going to pick it up so y'all can see this footrest. This is the footrest. It might not be much, but this, I would tell anybody, probably the better of the extra add-ons to make this chair worthwhile because I feel like if you didn't have the footrest, then you you can feel like you need to get up or stretch out your legs and stuff and you and if you got it all the way up and you are not like just tall enough to keep feet on the ground like if i sit certain ways my feet don't touch the ground that footrest was an added bonus now you can buy an off brand one if you want to or whatever and look into more of them but that added that was a plus so even with that my ideal to improve that too is because you got new chairs out and the other ones that been way back why i think y'all should create an adjustable foot thing that goes up the people laid back that far where it's almost bed laid back then there's even a foot rest that adjusts up to the butt level of the chair or can be adjusted to about as high as the chair can be that can be put down and adjust up and put your feet up too also to keep that circulation in your legs or whatever because if a chair leans back that far, the next thing I'm going to want is a footrest. So them are like the two things that 
I think can be added to this to make it better. Now, my overall scoring from a one to a five, and this is including comfortability, putting it together, how it looks, and my overall expectations of it, from a one to a five, I'm gonna have to give it like a 3.9. And that's putting everything together. Because only the padding, man. Like, I think if you fix the padding, you would have got way over that. It would have got like a, I don't know. It would have got really high if it was like the, the cushy part was more comfortable. And this is for the basic chair. All your chairs, if you, you're focusing on back support, back support or what, what is connected to it, your tushy. So them two things should have came together and been epic no matter what chair. I shouldn't have to buy the most expensive chair to get that comfortability. Or like me, the blanket up under but hey it is what it is i'm taking risks and chances when i buy different products outside of what others have recommended or others put on the display so if you like what you see if you have any questions or comments or concerns or you want to know leave them in the description below also please share this so they can see this as well and other people can see and get a different point of view because i'm just giving you the realest point of view i can give and I appreciate y'all coming through, commenting. If you like what you see, and I'm gonna be putting out more videos in the future, comment, like, subscribe, and hey, any questions below, I will have the Mavis link below. So hopefully I will make sure it's to the actual chair that I got, and y'all can check it out. Y'all can check out other chairs if you want to. 